Hey, this is Steve, who's your web nerd, and this is your video. This is going to be your overview on how to uh, work your website. Um, so once again, the biggest thing to remember is that the website is built in rows, which are here, rows. And inside these rows are columns, which is a full, a third, a third, a third. This one here is a 50-50, which is here. And finally, widgets, which is what's loaded into these little uh, columns here. This one obviously is a logo widget. This one over here is a text widget. Right? So going through here, it's real easy to add rows. You can simply grab a row and you can drop it. Let's just say we wanted to drop it here. And right off the bat, you'll see that here's that row and there looks like there's some good amount of space you know a spacing issue from this one to this one to correct that we can actually manage the left side which is the row we can click the little arrow here we have a margin and a padding and basically what this means is um, if you add padding let me just show you that one first save and then I'm gonna go ahead and change this whole row a different color let's say I'm gonna change it red Now you notice that padding I did, that 0.5 that I chose over here, it increased the color to make the color bigger. If I had a zero pattern and padding and I removed just a margin to 0.5 or let's say 1, you see it just moves that. It doesn't bring the color up, right? So that's the difference between padding and margin is padding if you're going to make a row another color is what you want to use to even out the color in that row there okay so left side controls the row from here you can move a row as well as you can just easily delete a row to the right once you put a new column in you need to load a widget to it and there's several great widgets here the ones that you're going to be primarily using would be the text widget and the image widget. Um, if you hit the click text widget here, um, here I can enter a title if I want to. I can also leave that blank. The title important is an H2. If I make it an H1 then this title is going to be a little bit bigger. H1 and H2s are, are what's needed for SEO. So we definitely want to keep some H1s and H2s in there with the keyword in those H2s. Here you can change the title alignment. You can also say, hey, I want to override the title itself, the size, and click that, and you can make the size of the title overridden. It'll still be an H2, but it'll be three times or four times. So a lot of different other settings here. Um, you can also change the top info color. So let's just say I wanted to do blue. I'm going to say test. And this is a test. Now you see the top is blue. And you scroll down, you can also, they have a set of icons here where you can click and add an icon if you wanted to. You can't create your own, this is just their pre list. So let's just say you wanted to add an icon in there, and you could do this. You can change the size of the icon and save. It's going to put it right there next to the title. Now on this too, we can also add an image if we wanted to. So we can click change here. Let me just grab one of those images. And in that image here, we have a couple different you know, things we can do here. We can select an alignment if we want to be left aligned or right aligned. And the image size, right? So we can say, hey, we want it to be 10 pixels in width, but the picture contained in itself. There we go. Personally, I like just creating the different um, blank rows and adding the different picture widgets and stuff because sometimes it's hard to control where this picture actually goes. But that option is there. And finally, if you want to add a button to this, you can go ahead and click button here. You can put what text you want the button. You can change the color of the button.
and you can say, hey, do you want it to be on the left or the right? And then where does that button need to go to? What is the article you want it to go to? So we'll go to this test141 page here. If it was going to a page outside of your website, you would choose here. And save. And there's my little button. If I click that, it'll take me right to that page. Obviously, if you make a mistake, you just want to delete this whole thing. It's real simple. You can just delete the row. All gone. Every page and everything is like that. So if you put your cursor on any one of these, you'll see what icon it is. So you know that's a text widget. This one you can see here is an image widget. You simply change it if you want to change that picture. There's the image. Select. Choose File. And go right to your pictures on your computer. Now, one of the ones that's a little bit different in the pictures, which is real easy to, to do, is let me head over to, let's say, investment casting here. And I'm going to find a gallery. So here's this gallery here. And if you notice, that this is one big picture in itself, right? This whole thing is grayed out. So if you click that, it says photos here. I can click edit. And here's those photos I have loaded in there. If you want more, you can just add if you need to add one. If you want to add bulk, which I suggest, click this one because this will let you select multiple files. Now in each one of these, you want to add what it is in the text area here. Not the title because then it will be on top and it will be too big. And then when you finish, you push OK. And this widget right here is called the Image Gallery. This widget here. Um, also remember that the sidebar is separate from the main area here. So if you change something in the sidebar, it's going to change throughout the website on those pages that call out the sidebar. Over here, and let's go check out our standard products pages. Okay. Now, the way, obviously, I set this up, and I'm just going to give me a second while I plug in my computer so we don't lose each other. So the way this was set up, it's real easy, is we created a page called Eyebolts, and then we created multiple pages called Regular Nut Eyebolts, Circle Nut Eyebolts, and so on and so on. There's two easy ways to create a page. Up here, you can click the little plus piece of paper, select a wizard, and here's a web page. Next. And what do you want to call this page? And what categories does this page fall under? Does it fall under standard products, or is it a an eye bolt? All right, so you can just sit here and collect which one it falls under. And once you do that, it will create the new page. I'm not going to do that now. Now, once you go ahead and click one of these, one of the things that I had to go through and change was the how it was set up. So we got this great looking uh, breadcrumbs. So what I had to do with that is on each page with this product, I went through. And when you create a new one, you want to do this as well. Um, over here at Categories, you want to choose where it falls under. All right, so this one's under uh, Rigging. And, and then underneath there, we have the parent, which is Eyebolts. So going back to that page. There we go. We have our home, standard products, eye bolts, regular nut bolts. And that's how you do that. So real easy to, to go back in and change. Remember up here, when it drops down the W, this lets you get into the back end of that page. Personally, if I'm creating new products or new pages, I would just go back here and click Add New. Title the product. Hit the, the categories, what it is. The parent, which is obviously what it falls under for that product so if it's a, a some certain type of eye bolt then make sure we choose that eye bolt is the main one if it's a category in itself like for instance on this whole page let me head back over here to the uh, the page itself eye bolts so this category page we need to make sure that that one is chosen as well and that parent is going to be standard products because that falls under the standard products. 
this was a, a product under iBolt. This parent would be iBolt. And obviously if you have any questions I can clear any more up for that with you, but that's pretty easy as long as you just follow my examples. The great thing about this since it's built, all you gotta do is really copy of what I've done. Um, so obviously since I went through, you see all these are blue now, because I changed that title, I'm going to go back and change these. Change it to no color. And save. There we go. Now you might be asking yourself, why did every single one of those titles change blue when I just did one? And it's a real simple answer if you click here. And scroll down to the bottom where it says unit style and unit content here. And click that and right now it's set to main right so that means that anytime I let's say change uh, the way this paragraph looks where I add that color for instance it's going to change everything and they do that to make it real easy for you to adjust you know a lot of stuff at one time um, but if you're making a color on that top border there just go ahead and push deactivate and then now you can change that color to whatever you want and it won't affect all of them Okay, um, that kind of covers this portion of it. I think you pretty much understand on clicking things and moving things around. Obviously, you can swap out widgets if you wanted to as well. Makes it real easy if you want to change the order of things. But real easy for you to go through and just click and edit. Because most of these are obviously going to be the picture icon or the image icon. All right, going into the back end here, uh, if you want to change that sidebar menu, Let's head over to iBolts here. If you want to change and add to this the sidebar menu, it's going to be over here in the back end under Appearance and Menus. And you're going to want to first make sure you're on the right menu. So this is iBolt, so this is the custom menu. So we want to select the um, product, because product and custom is the only ones we're using here. So I'm going to select product and then push select. And that's going to load these. If I have a new one to add, I can just, any new page I create will go in the most recent here. You can also view all or search. Uh, and just click that and add the menu. There's our menu item here. We can just simply put it wherever we want to. We can also click it and we can change the name of it as well. And simply remove it, which I'm going to do now. And when you're done, you just push save. So anytime you update this, change, remove, add, it will automatically update all the pages that have the uh, this sidebar right here. And that concludes the sidebar. Um, if you're adjusting the menu itself, the actual main menu here, remember that this is a, a widget in itself. So if I wanted to add, let's say I created one of those pages and I wanted to add it to my menu here, I can simply select the three lines here. Here's all my different menu items. I can push add item, article reference, and then choose test. And then what do you want to call that page? I'm going to call it test page and save. So now my test page is here and I can move it around anywhere I want to. If I put it towards the side, it would be basically like standard products here where there will be products under it. If you want to remove it, you can just delete it. It won't delete the page, it's just deleting it off the menu here. And then press OK when you're done. You can also edit the colors over here where the little plug is. And here's your different color spectrum, some different fonts and to make it bigger and things like that. So a lot of little options on each one of these widgets where you can go in and kind of detail it a little bit more than just the picture or adding something. Now over here on the um, on the quote page, we'll go there. And this is, I want you to remember that this is JotForm, J-O-T-F-O-R-M dot com. When you log into JotForm here, you will see your forms. There's your request to quote, and here's your IQE contact us. Obviously, you'll be getting emailed submissions when these go through, but this is also a place you can go back and, and, and click on it, and you can actually click submissions 
and you can print them and set them as a PDF whatever you'd like it makes it real easy to, to uh, see all these Let me go back here. If you want to edit something in here, here it says edit form. And you can open up this little form elements here, and then it says drag and drop. If you want to change the wording, you can click on it and change the word. So, Jot Form is real simple and easy to use. Um, like I said, you'll be getting emails as you people fill these out. And once again, you can always come back here and make sure you got all your emails. I think we've basically covered everything we needed to cover for this website here. Obviously, if you have additional questions or you run into some problems, please give me a ring and we can go over it. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I wish you uh, very good luck in, in all your business endeavors. and. And I hope you're able to take this website to new heights by customizing a little bit yourself. So thank you.